Hello and welcome to Harvey Norman at the Centerpoint Superstore. My name is Chef Justin Fu and today I'm at Smack's Kitchen Concepts where you can find a full range of appliances from kitchen hops, ovens, mixers, blenders and even fridges. Now with Smack, I'm going to make my Ipak Leong's Oxen Pineapple Tart. I love it so much so I learned the recipe from my auntie and now I'm going to teach it to you. So let's get started. First, we're going to make our pineapple filling. So we got some honey pineapples, we're just going to trim it down, cut it into chunks and blend it with our Smack Blender. Alright, and directly we can put it into the pot. We're going to add some sugar and some cloves. And that's it. Now we're going to slowly simmer this and we cook them down into a nice, soft, firm jam. Now that the pineapple filling is simmering, we're going to prepare our dough. We're going to put some butter. For the eggs, we're using one whole egg and three yolks. And next, we add our vanilla and some salt for flavour. Now we're going to cream this in the mixer using the flat beater attachment. So start the mixer on low, just to mix the butter, eggs and all the ingredients together. And gradually increase the speed and continue paddling it until it's light and fluffy. So now our butter is nice, light and fluffy. Just like that. At this point, we're going to gradually add in our flour on the low speed. Now once we have finished putting in all our flour, it's done, it comes together and doesn't stick to the side, that's what we want. Turn it off. It should all clump nicely. Now we're going to leave some dough in the bowl because we're going to mix a different colour dough just for decorations. Leave a handful of dough, just probably like a, a fistful. We can add in our cocoa powder and continue to mix on the low speed. So in the same bowl, we have our two colours of pastry. One is the normal pastry dough and now for this, this is the chocolate pastry dough. So after the pineapple has been cooked down, right now it's darker in colour. So the flavours are nice and jammy and earthy and rich. Put it into a bowl and then we can keep it in our fridge or just as it's cooled and then we're ready to use it for our pineapple tarts. So this is the pineapple once it's cooked down and cooled overnight. Now we're going to form our pineapple tarts. Take a little bit of pineapple and shape them into a little ball. Not too big, I'm just eyeballing it but if you want to put a weight to it, it's about 5 to 7 grams. Next, we're going to shape our dough. For the dough, just about a thumb size. Same thing, doesn't need to be too, too accurate because we're going to take out what we don't need. Prepare 12 of them. Now with 12 balls of dough, we're going to shape our pineapple tarts. So simply just press the dough into a flat shape until it's about 2 mm thickness. Place the pineapple filling inside, simply roll it up, close it on all ends and pinch off the dough that's excess. So now we're going to roll it into a nice oblong shape. Lightly brush the pineapple tart so you get a nice golden colour when it bakes. For the tail, we're going to use clove sticks and for the horns, we're going to use our chocolate pastry dough. So I'm done with my 12 tarts, I'm going to put them in the oven for 20 minutes. So it's 20 minutes, my pineapple tarts are done, and now we can plate them. And there you have it, my Ipak Leong's Oxen Pineapple Tarts. Wishing you all a happy Chinese New Year, Sing Nian Kuai Le, enjoy!